Hey, it's Caroline. Today I want to film my fourth hurt foot workout video for you guys. Um, the hurt foot workout videos have been some of my most popular content on the channel and I get it because I have now gotten myself a foot injury and staying active and finding really creative ways to keep moving is a really essential part in the healing process. That, the physical piece and the mental piece. Staying positive, surrounding yourself with positive videos and people um, who you know are going to help you heal faster. So I'm really grateful that you're here today. What I would suggest doing is watching this video all the way through to make sure there are no red flag exercises that might hurt your injury further. We don't want to set you back. So check with your doctor before starting this or any exercise routine and watch this video once through to make sure that all the exercises will be good for you to do. I'm gonna keep my boot on for this video, um, but you can take the boot off if it's okay on your specific injury. You just need to be mindful and really pay attention to your body while you're moving. Okay, so when you're ready to get started, I want you to inhale your arms up and exhale your arms down. Good, try that twice more. Inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale and exhale. You're gonna take your arms in front and just do jumping jacks with your arms. So I love to do these to open up the tightness in my shoulders and my chest. I do swim a lot, especially with um, foot injuries. I get in the pool, get in the water. The water is one of the most therapeutic ways I know to keep my mind and body in good shape throughout the recovery process. And I love the pool. So if you haven't tried the pool yet, get your butt in the water. It's not that scary. And um, it's actually a really fun place to stay and be fit, either when you're injured or when you're not. So keep opening and closing those arms. Feel the stretch in your shoulders and your chest. Good, make sure you keep smiling because that helps with everything. We're gonna take eight, seven, six, five, nice work, four, three, two, and one. Hinge forward from your hips, bring your hands towards your feet, and open and close the arms. So this video is great if you have a chair at home. We'll be using the chair for some hip bridges later on, and it helps to have a chair with one backing. So if you have something that you can hang on to. Right now you should be feeling your shoulder blades work, and I really want you to squeeze those shoulder blades. So you're feeling your upper back start to really engage. Keeping the upper back strong helps with posture. And as you know, when you get injured, sometimes your posture gets all out of whack. And instead of hobbling around on one foot, you wanna keep yourself as balanced as you can. And hey, you're doing a great job. Okay, so keep breathing. You've got four more. And three, two, and one. I feel that, open and close. Good, so when you open and close, try to keep your ribs in. And this, you'll feel your heart rate come up. So if you feel your heart rate start to climb, you get a little bit of sweaty, that's a good sign. It means you're working. So I want you to breathe. Open and close those shoulders. Smile. And think positive. I found that a positive mindset is one of the best ways to get your body back faster from an injury. So keep that head in good shape and your body will follow with you. Good. So your thumbs are facing up. Whew, love these arm jumping jacks. My chest already feels better. Do you ever find that when you're injured, you start to roll forward, especially if you've been on the computer or the phone a lot, and you don't wanna look like you're 110? So we're gonna open that up and straighten you out. Nice, just do a few more for me. So strong, I'm so proud of you for being here. Good, and then come forward, hinge at the hips, Take your hands down, shoulders down and back, and open and close. So really work on that upper back, trying to keep your posture strong. Hey, again, so proud of you for making time for this video today. I know injuries can be kind of a downer, but when you do a little bit of exercise and get that body moving, it just lifts up your spirits. And it doesn't need to be going on a marathon run. It can be doing this video and just getting a little bit of movement into your muscles. So I want you to breathe for me, think positive thoughts, and stay with it. Squeeze those shoulder blades, nice and strong. Let's do eight, seven, six, 
five, good work, four more, two more, and last one. All right, sit up nice and tall, jumping jacks one more time, so engage the core, open and close. And I'm sweating, so you'll have to let me know if by now you are too. You can leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel. Ha! Huh, just feels good to get something going. Get that metabolism boosted with a little bit of movement. A little goes a long way. You have to remember too, this is a part of being kind to yourself. Injuries are hard, so you're nice to yourself by doing something, staying positive, and again, surrounding yourself with positive, like-minded people. No negative Nancys. Get those out. They don't help with recovery. You're doing great. Let's do a few more. Open and close, move the body, stretch the chest, let it feel good, let yourself come back to life. Three more, two, and one. All right, hinge forward. Take your time, shoulders back, and open. There are a lot of creative things out there you can do with a hurt foot. If you're cleared to swim, try that. If you're cleared to try things on the BOSU balance trainer, um, like push-ups on your knees are great. You can do a lot of core work on the BOSU. Um, so, you know, really it helps to work with a coach if you have one to guide you in finding those exercises that you can do throughout injury to stay active and to feel good mentally and physically. Good. So I'm really glad you're here today because we're getting creative. We're going to get your body moving. Just give me a few more. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades. Work the posture. Whew. And three more, two more. Last one. Amazing. Sit up nice and tall. You're going to scooch to the end of your chair and engage your core. Take your hands up like you're going to start boxing, and guess what? We are. So I want you to cross. Now, I feel abs here, and I'm really going to try and get my heart rate up, work my arms, whew, and get my core going. So already, heart rate's up, metabolism's moving, my abs feel amazing, and I want you to smile and breathe. You're doing great. Whew. Man, it's harder than it looks, folks. Harder than it looks. Let's give it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands to your chair, shoulders down and back. Give me 10 tricep dips. You're going to go down and up. So again, as long as this is not placing any pressure on your foot injury, you're good to go. If this one kind of makes you think, mm, Maybe not a good choice for me. I want you to wait for me until we come back, okay? No problem. Four more and three. Let's do two more. Last one. Grab a seat, very edge of the chair, shoulders back and down. You're going to pull your knees up, extend in and down. Abs up, extend. That is way harder than it looks. We're only doing 10. I'm really glad you're doing it with me. Four. Wow. Hey, who said you can't? exercise with a hurt foot. This is five. I am feeling my body right now. You've got four more. I'm sorry, now four more. Sometimes I get excited. Three more, and this one is hard. Let's do two more. Up, out, in, and down. Last one. Oh my gosh. Belly punch. So round two of the circuit. Get your heart rate up. Body's moving. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for making me feel better. It helps to exercise with other people. Keep breathing and keep going. Stay with it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tricep dips, slide it over and give me dips down and up. Nice job. Shoulders back, stay strong, breathe. <sighs> I'm so happy. We're doing this together today. Feel the backs of your arms. You've got three more, two more, and last one. Bring it up. Let's try those knees in again. So we go knees, extend, in and down, and up, reach. Good work. Lift it up, out. It's actually easier around two. Do you, do you notice that? I do too. All right, five, because movement has helped. Good, you just got four more now for a total of 10. Keep your shoulders open. Good, two more. Last one. 
All right, round three, final round. Here we go, and punch. Side to side. And you don't let go of like feeling weird about whatever you're doing. You're moving, it's great. Who cares what people think? Let it go, punch the air. Get all that energy out. Sweat a little bit. Use your stomach muscles. Life is good. We have so much to be grateful for. So keep going for me, side to side. Hair in a bun would have been a better choice for this video. So it doesn't get me whiplash in the face. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tricep dips, here we go. You're ready. And 10, nine, I'm sweating. This is great. Sweat makes you feel good, huh? Five, six, seven, stay with me. Eight, two more, nine, and 10. Grab a seat. Shoulders back, tummy tight. Here we go, pull those knees up. We go knees, reach. And now, round three feels like the best one. So hey, if you have more time on you and you wanna go around and do the video again, by all means, as long as it's not hurting your injury, we are good, good to go. All right, keep smiling, stay positive. You've got five more, five. That boot, man. You're gonna get stronger just by wearing it. I feel it already. Okay, two more. <laughs> Last one. Amazing. Now you're just gonna give me a reach and a reach. So twisting through that core, just like aerobics, it's like sit and be fit. But you know what? It feels really good to move my body. So I'm gonna get creative today. Nice and strong. Breathing, just opening up the shoulders again. Heart rate is up. Four and three, and two. Last one, side to side. Good, now take your arms up to one side and you're gonna pull your knee in. So we go knee, knee, knee. So you're really working obliques. Five, six, seven, you look great. Eight, nine, and 10. Switch sides, it's 10. Oh, yeah, my obliques are working. Reach those arms, five, six, Seven, be careful on that foot. If you're wearing the boot, you're okay. Two more, one more switch. Ready, and 10. We'll just do three rounds. Again, stay with me, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, so happy you're here. Eight, nine, 10, switch, 10, nine. And when you really work through this, seven, six, five, four, three more, two more, last one, switch, last time, 10. You should really start to feel this in your obliques. You feeling that? Yeah, let me know. Here's five, six, seven, staying moving, nine, 10, last side, 10, nine, good work, eight, seven, I'm proud of you, six, five, four more, three more, Two more, last one, finish it up with reach switch. So this gives you a chance to catch your breath. I hope you're still breathing. And you can really start to build some movement in those arms. You want to know the benefit of a foot injury? Amazing arms. I mean, you're gonna get so good at those push-ups. By the time you're done with this foot injury, you'll be able to push up with the best of them. So, keep going. So guys, I'm filming at my parents' house today and there are all sorts of noises. So thank you so much for being patient. I was so excited to film this for you. And in the background, we've got clocks and we've got cats <laughs> and we've got cell phones. So, you know, whatever, life goes on. You keep moving. Time heals all things, even noises and foot injuries. Good, last one. Relax. Okay, so now I'm going to have you come to the floor and be careful because you're, you know, being nice to your foot and being kind to yourself. You're in tabletop position, so your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. I want you to engage your core muscles. You're going to flex your foot and push your foot to the ceiling. So here we go. We do 10, 9, 8. I want you to squeeze the butt muscle. Breathing. Five more, four more, 
three, oh man, this feels good, two, and one, switch sides, 10, and nine. Keep squeezing that butt, try to go a little higher, each time, a little higher. Good, good, three, two, and one, switch, you've got 10. Now I'm on carpet, so if you don't have carpet at home, I want you to put down a thick mat so your knees are cushioned, okay? Don't get bruises from doing this video. Be smart. I know you're smart. Last one, switch sides. 10, nine, doesn't it feel good to move? Gosh, I know. Man, six more, five more, squeeze the butt. Four, and three, two, and one. Let's do it one more time, you ready? Here we go. 10, nine, amazing, abs in tight. Seven, six, five, good work, keep your neck in neutral, and three, and two, and one, ready, switch, 10. Now, if you want it, again, you can do this without the boot, without shoes, only if it's safe for your injury. You've gotta be smart, it's not worth not being smart, okay? Three, and two, and one. Okay, keep your abs engaged, when you're ready, we're gonna take the leg out to the side like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Really classy, you ready? Here we go, out. Now, make sure you're flexing that foot. You're gonna get a little bit more for the hips. And I want you to keep your abs engaged. Stay with me. Four more, three, two, one. Center, switch, 10. Of course, by all means, if you need to go slower through these exercises, you can, no problem. You are in control. So I want you to take what I'm giving you today and make it feel good to you. It's all about feeling good right now. Last one, switch, 10, nine. By now you feel those hips really talking to you. You're thinking, man, I didn't know I could work my legs so much. You can. And three, two more. Last one. Switch sides. My butt is burning. Life is good. You know what they say, secret to a strong life is a strong butt. And it's kind of true. So you're going to come back from this injury with a strong butt muscle. Two more. And last one, switch last time. You've got ten. Nine. I love my parents' carpet is like super cushy and nice. So soft. Five. Six. Perfect for this. Eight takes the fact of my butt burning. And 10, switch, 10, nine, eight, keep your tummy tight, seven, six, you're almost there, five, four, three, two more, two, and one. Now on your knees, shoulders back and down, you're gonna squeeze your abs in and give me 10 push-ups, elbows in. Ready, here we go, it's 10, and nine, eight, Keep your triceps in. Six, Just told you, strong push-ups. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, nice job. From there, I want you to bring your chair out and you're going to lay down and you've gotta be careful here. So carefully with the injury, we'll do more push-ups, promise. You're gonna place your legs up on top. Now, if you're suffering from a heel injury, it'd be best to do this with straight legs, the heel hanging off the chair. So, you know, do this one, and if it does again, doesn't feel right, then you just stop and you wait and we'll come back, okay? So shoulders down and back. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up, lower the hips down. Now, as you do this, you might have to readjust, so we're going to go up and down and two and down. So you might want to readjust your feet as needed because you might be taller or shorter. Your chair might be a different height. Right now, you should crazy feel the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, your butt. These are all good things. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's just try four more. Life is good. Three, two more, two. Last one, take your hands behind your head, crunch it up and down. So I love putting these chair sequences together because you can work your core without having to change positions every time, which is great when you're healing. So keep breathing, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Let's just try four more and three, proud of you, 
last two, last one, hip bridge, ready? And lift, lower, so again, readjust as needed, try to squeeze your butt and lift your hips. Remember, strong butt, strong life, you're gonna come back better than ever from this injury, I know it, I absolutely know it. Four more, and three more, two more, two, and one. Now round two, you can leave the legs on the chair or lift them. Crunches, here we go, up. So lifting the legs a little bit harder, so if you're feeling a little more fatigued by now, you can do legs down, no problem. Okay, just remember, listen to your body, that's what's most important. And three, let's try two more. The last one. Good, hands by your sides, shoulders down and back. Last round, here we go. You're doing great, by the way. Lift it up and down, readjust if you need, and down, lift. Gosh, I love hip bridge. I think hip bridge is one of my favorite exercises. Try to even out the legs, both legs equal. Reach and lower, lift and lower. You're so strong. You've got three more and two more. Last one, final round of crunches. Legs there, legs in tabletop, or legs in the air. Nice stretch for your hamstrings. Ready, here we go. Lift and lower, two, three, four, just 10, five, I'm so proud of you. And seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Now here's the careful part, bend your knees in, roll the side, be careful, come up, be smart. I know you are. And you're just going to move your chair out of the way. You know we're coming back from push-ups, so you're ready for that. Hands down, knees down, tummy tight, ribs in, squeeze your butt, give me 10. Here we go, it's 10, and nine. Whew. You should be sweating. Whew, man, so good. Who says you can't get a hard workout when you're hurt? They were joking. And three more, two more, last one. Nice job. We're gonna lay down on your side now. So you're gonna lay down all the way down and take your hand behind your head, bend your bottom knee and send your left leg forward. Flex your foot, tummy tight and up. Good, two. So again, really working the legs and the hips. I'm giving you some of my favorite exercises that I do when I'm in a boot. So I hope they benefit you too. Let's do two more, and I'm sweating. Last one, good. Now take the legs straight back, tummy tight. You're gonna bring the knee in and reach. Two, three, good work. Four, stay with me. Squeeze your butt on the way back, six, Seven, eight, oh my gosh, nine, last one, ten. Now bring the leg in and lift up. Two, three, you know this is gonna feel really good on the other side. Six, seven, so good, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Let's take it to side plank. So bend the knees, elbow underneath shoulder, lift it up and hold. Now, of course, you can go out with that leg to a star plank. So you actually might feel this more in your hips because of the workout that we've been doing today. Um, but you should feel obliques as well. So core, hips, butt, everything's working. You're doing great. Keep breathing. <sighs> when you inhale the present moment and exhale all the fear and the stress that comes from recovering from an injury, you are going to be just fine. I always say, if you can keep breathing, you can get through anything. So just keep breathing. You'll get through this and the injury. So stay with me, inhale, exhale. Good, relax, let's switch sides. So be careful, come on over to switch your sides. Lay all the way down and you're gonna send that straight leg out in front of you, straight. Flex the foot, tummy is tight, and you'll lift up one, two, good, three, four, and check it out, five, working my hips, Six, getting my butt to fire. Seven, eight, just 10, nine, 10. Now we're gonna go straight out. I'm just gonna make sure my chair is out of the way. Bring it in and reach. Two, three. A flexed foot is going to help you. So make sure you flex those feet. Tummy stays tight. 
Mine stays positive. Four. Good job. Three. There's only two more. Two. And last one. Bring the knee in and down. Ready when you are open and close. Oh my gosh. My hips are on fire. I'm so glad we're doing this right now. I feel so much better. You've got three more. It's amazing how much a little bit of movement can do, huh? Last one. Nice job. Now bring the knees together. Elbow goes underneath the shoulder. You're going to lift it up into that modified side plank. Tummy stays tight. If you want the option, you're going to send the leg out. And again, push your hips forward, hip bone over hip bone. You're good to go. So the best thing you can do right now is breathe. The best thing you can do to get through the injury, breathe. Stay positive. Take it one day at a time, do the best you can. And then you'll get there. And all of a sudden, it'll be something that made you stronger and something that brought a blessing into your life. I just know it. It'll probably be amazing arms because you're doing this video. <laughs> so stay with it, keep your ribs in, stay strong, keep breathing. <sighs> you should really feel this in your butt. So, awesome. I hope you have sore booty muscles. You're so strong, stay strong, ready, and relax. Okay, we'll do one more round of push-ups because strong arms are going to be one of the best things you have from this foot injury. So when you're ready, hands go out by your chest, knees bend, tummy stays tight, and here we go. One and two. This is a total body workout. Three, four, that you can do with a hurt foot. Five and six, we're almost there. Seven and eight, two more. Nine, last one, 10. Whew, you're amazing. Flip over onto your back. We've got just a few more things to do, and then I'm gonna stretch with you. So you're gonna lower down, lift your legs in the air, and when you're ready, you're just gonna drop one leg at a time. So one leg goes down, tummy up. Two, good, three. So again, I'm getting a little extra resistance because I'm choosing to wear the boot and the shoe. You can, of course, do this without the boot and the shoe, but you need to be careful. So, be smart, choose what's best, and then go from there, okay? Good. You can get a lot of exercise to be smart about it. That's the good news. Let's go three, and three, two more, two, brace with that core, last one, and one. Okay, bend the knees in. Bring your hands to your knees. We're doing something called dead bug. Push your knees into your hands and push your knees into your hands. Hold. That's it. Flex your foot. Push hard. Push hard. Do you feel your abs? Because this one is crazy. This one always hits my butt. I really like this exercise. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. You're doing so great. I'm so proud of you. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. Whew. And relax. So now I'm going to have you cross one leg over the other. And you're just going to give me a sit-up where you cross. So it goes like this. You go sit up, touch, down to the floor. Sit up, touch, look at you. So good. Sit up, touch. Sit up, touch. Nice shot. That was four. Here's five. And down. And plus you get to be in this nice long position, so you're pretty happy about that. Seven. And down. Eight. And down, almost there, nine, last one, hold it up, open the arms, one, two, good work, three, squeeze your stomach, four, five, six, lots of fun noises, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and ten, so roll down, switch legs, sit up to the other side, so you go touch, and down. Two, you should fill your stomach. Three, and four, we're just doing 10. Don't worry, five, six, almost there. Seven, keep breathing, and eight. Last two, last one, hold, twist, and one. So I really want you to open, reach, super long, five, Six, seven, eight, almost there. Nine and ten. Switch as you lower down. We got one more time. So give me ten setups, twists. You go one and down. Two. And again, take a rest if you need. No problem. This is a 
long, full length, total body, hurt foot workout video. It's hard. I'm sweating, which is great. And six, but if you need a break, take one. The benefit of working out at home is you have something called the pause button. Two more. Pause button is awesome. Last one, hold. Open, close. Ten. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, open that chest. Seven. Six. Five, four more. Four, squeeze the stomach. Three, two more. Two. Last one, lower down. Carefully switch. Second and final on the other side. So you're going to crunch up and lower. Two. And down. Three. See if you can twist more through those obliques. Five. Six. I think it's in. Seven. And eight. Almost there. Two more. Last one. Hold. Open. One. Two. Stomach scoops. Three. Four. Really open. Five. Six. You're amazing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Lower down. Bring those legs up in the air. Second and final. Leg lifts. Lower. So right now you should really feel the core. And I hope you do. It's important to keep that core strong. To help with great posture. And to help you get around. Because you know, getting around in a boot or in crutches, that takes a lot of stability. So if you keep your core strong, it's going to help you get around whether you're wearing a boot or you're on crutches or whatnot. So, okay, keep that, those abs feeling good and helping you move. All right, we've got four. Almost there. So proud. So strong. Let's do one more each side. My abs are on fire. Bring your knees to tables up. Take your hands against your thighs. Flex your feet. Push the thighs into the legs. Push the legs into the hands. You've got it. Stay strong. This is called dead bug. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, and relax. So from here, I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Complete exhale. Keep your right hand towards your chest. Extend your left leg long. Release your lower back and hold. I want you to take a moment to send positive healing thoughts to your injury. I want you to take a moment to see yourself getting better, getting stronger, and getting healthy. Take your right knee and twist. Cross the body, open the chest, and hold. Feel the stretch in your hip and your back. Feel the opening in your chest and your shoulder. Deep inhale. Complete exhale. Take it back to center. Take the right foot on top of the left knee, figure four. Draw the hips in nice and close. And hold. Remember, everything throughout this process of recovery, um, as you keep moving through it, I want you to be kind to yourself. To stay positive mentally is a huge piece of coming back stronger and feeling great through the process. Good, let's switch sides. Left knee into chest, extend the right leg long. Release the lower back. Here's the way I look at it. Life is a gift, and injured or not, there is so, so much to be grateful for. So even if you can't run, or you can't do all the things that you love to do right now, there's still a lot of blessings out there to enjoy. So I want you to focus on those, and you'll get better faster. Okay, bring this knee across the body. Take a twist. Open and breathe. Try that nice deep smile, applauding yourself for showing up for you today. Good, come back to center. Foot is flexed, figure four, let's bring it in close. You'll feel those hips stretch because you worked them hard today. So, enjoy the stretch, you deserve it. Take a deep breath, inhale. Long breath, exhale. Good, uncross the legs. Bring the knees into your chest, carefully roll to one side, and sit up. 
So I just want to say thank you for coming and joining me today. Thank you for helping me move and feel better throughout the process of recovering from this foot injury. I believe in you and I know that your injury is going to heal fast. Stay strong, stay positive, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.